peaceful output is the name of the game today. So I am someone who has gotten a lot of peace from smushing themselves into mush at the gym, lifting weights, doing a million different cardio machines, um, and that no longer serves me. It, it has come up again and again through injury, through messages. I need to change what I'm doing. So rather than put that need to sedate in the gym, listen, I'm not saying it's the worst way to sedate, but if I need to exhaust myself to the point where I can't think, that is sedation. And I'm trying to be not sedated. I'm trying my best to be awake and aware and be an example of the fucking struggle that it is to stay present, awake, and aware. So today, I went for a walk. Um, a long walk, sometimes with music, sometimes with quiet. It's chilly, but not freezing. And that felt really good to be outside is another thing. I, I'm like a gym rat, so being in nature, I think it's gonna shift things for me as well. So what I'm gonna ask you is, what's something in your life that is kind of a healthy habit that you may be using to avoid other things? Even meditation, because you may be doing amazingly up in that plane, but if you can't bring those things down through here, through the earth, through your experience here, they're not helping you enrich this life, your purpose, your service. So I'm just inviting you. Listen, it was hard to see. I, I, I am like a hardcore seven days a week, every other body part. You know, like I really had a structure that served me, but until I found that the structure was part of another addiction, it was, it was the behavior of addiction. So um, I need to find alternatives to move my body that's absolutely essential to me every single day but moving in a different way so look at the things that are your positive habits and just make sure not you're not sedating with them because i was very surprised to find out that the thing that's the core of what makes me feel good was also a little bit of the core of me escaping from what's going on and i will see you tomorrow